It's Beer and Food O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. And today we've got something brand new from Birdseye. It's a box of their Birdseye Chicken Shop Hot and Fiery Chicken Chunks. Uh, there's 450 grams of chicken there. And we're going to be pairing it with something I find quite unbelievable. The fact that I've reviewed 5,000 beers nearly now. And I haven't reviewed this yet. It's a can of Hogan Wit Blanche at 4.9% ABV. So, let's have a look at the chicken, let's see how it's packaged. Yeah, it's a little bit like the SFC chicken, where it's in a bag, you just whack it on the tray. You can either chuck it back in the box if you want, just to keep your kids happy, they got like a takeaway type thing going on, or just put them on a plate, which I'm probably going to do. Let's get into them, let's get them in the oven. A couple of minutes left on the chicken. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. I have had Ho Garden a number of times before. I can't work out why I've never got round to reviewing it. I think somebody sent me years ago the original recipe for Ho Garden, which was recreated in America and for some reason mentally I linked it and, and never got round to reviewing the actual Ho Garden. Uh, beer in the glass then. I believe it's InBev, uh, the, the people who make Stella. Stella Artois. Oh we'll get into that in a moment. Uh, good levels of carbonation, hazy wheat light straw coloured beer Three finger white head. Let's get the aroma. It smells okay, that. Some lemon, clove, banana. It smells good. Let's, let's dive in. Cheers. As wheat beers go, that's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I always try and be practical these days with my beer reviews. I used to be a very unpractical beer reviewer. You know, I would kind of just maybe, maybe not give it a rating that it kind of deserves because it, it didn't taste like a like a small craft wheat beer from a from a smaller producer. What I'm trying to say here is there's economies of scale, isn't it? The, 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 these people at Ho Garden, much they, they have to produce millions and millions of, of liters of this stuff a year, compared to a small craft brewer who might have to produce just a few batches of the stuff. Um, so there's a difference in trying to recreate small batch beer on a big scale. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not bad. What I'm trying to really say is it's not bad. I bought six cans for three pound. Tastes okay. I can hear the chicken fizzing away in the oven. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, blimey. Done. Didn't fancy cooking the whole bag. I don't think there's much, much point in that. It's just a little food pairing to go with the beer. So I have to leave these cooled down now. They're piping hot. Maybe talk a little bit about them. So, hot and fiery coating with these with these bird's eye chicken chunks, they call it. Great at marketing, isn't it? Really great at marketing. So they call it like a real takeaway taste. I hope it does. 
tastes a little bit like a, a, a takeaway pieces of chicken. Reason being, they're only three pounds for a giant box. Let's get back to the, the beer a moment. It's light, it's refreshing, there's some clove, there's touches of banana and lemon. It's very sessionable. You definitely get the wheat beer taste. Uh, I'm not in any way associated with AB InBev here with this beer review. Um, I've got to make sure it is AB InBev. It is AB InBev. I've just seen the, the brand on the back of the car. I'm not associated with them at all. I'm just trying to be a little bit more practical with my beer reviews, kind of only because I visited InBev. I went there about three years ago and the place is massive. It's absolutely incredibly massive. And it's hard to believe it's just this giant. We have a place where we live in Barry called Dow Cornyn. It's a chemicals factory, it's huge. They produce silicone for toothpaste and breasts and stuff like that. And that place is like, you can drive for like a, a few miles and you're still, you've still got Dow Corning on your, on your right hand side. It's a bit like that in Leuven, that's the place. Leuven, the Stella Artois factory. Absolutely huge place. And the, you've probably seen the video, the, the vessels are huge. And it's hard to imagine them really replicating a small craft brewer in terms of quality. They got the scale, but they just don't have the quality. But reviewing this as an open, an open, honest, practical beer review, something to go with a bit of chicken. It's not bad. Right, hopefully this has cooled down now. I'm not gonna make a complete fool of myself. Oh, wow, okay. I look like chicken. That's like the brownest chicken I think I've ever seen in my life. Ooh, look at that. Mmm, that's weird, isn't it? Let's be fair, look at the colour. I mean, it's been in, it said 15 minutes. It's been in the oven for 20. Mmm. All right, let's put that one down. Let's pull apart another one. Maybe I just had a dodgy one. In terms of colour. Maybe they're all brown. Chicken's not meant to be brown though, guys. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's more like it. Yeah, let's do a... A comparison. That's probably a little bit of wing or leg or something there and that's some that's some breast there we go it's focus finally really brown really brown meat white meat you come to expect especially when you have a look at the when you have a look at the box you come to expect it to look like that don't you you expect it to be really white. They, they didn't, they didn't market it as that, did they? <laughs> this weird kind of brown meat. I'm not gonna be a baby about it though. We'll crack on. Hot and fiery. Yeah, they really are. Mmm. Onto the spice. Yeah, they're really spicy. 
they got a, a really big kick to them. Go really well with the beer, really would. Well, well. Mm. That's a nice piece of chicken, that. This one, a little bit more. Gotta be a little bit braver when you eat this little bit of chicken. Depends if you like brown meat, brown poultry meat. I prefer it. And here's me, here's the person who, who, who always says, don't drink with your eyes, drink with your mouth, drink with the flavour. How many beer, how many people out there would like a hazy beer? So I need to be a little bit practical now and say that, okay, yes, there's brown meat on the chicken. It tastes awesome. Absolutely terrific. The spice, the chili flakes on the back of this, it just, the coating, really crispy, really nice. Chicken's really tender, really tasty, and it's got a really peppery, spicy, spicy kick on it. Mmm. For three pound, introductory offer, introductory, inter introductory, some words I just can't say. <laughs> the introducing offer. That's not bad. I can imagine finding a really good film to watch on Netflix, kicking back with a couple of beers, cooking these, chucking the chicken back in the box with some fries and just, yeah, enjoying. Ah, ha, 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 right, okay. Chicken thigh. Right, I take it back, bird's eye. I take it back 100% chicken thigh. So they've not said chicken breast. So no worries about the brown meat there. Yeah, look. How does it pair with the beer? It's got a really, if you're like me, if you like spicy food, this is not bad at all. Some really nice spicy chicken there. With the beer, the beer cuts through. That lovely lemony flavor goes well with the chicken. The coriander, the spice from the beer, the bitterness on the back end goes really nice with the, the chicken. It's a really good pairing. And for, yeah, I bought six cans of Hoe Garden for three pound, and I paid three pound for the chicken. That's a night in. That's a night in. Box of chicken. And six beers. Six, three, three thirty cans. Let's rate it. As I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to be a little bit more practical. I'm not, I'm not standing here, and I haven't stood here and said this is, a, this is a craft beer. This is industrial beer, brewed on an industrial scale. And it tells, it tells. It's a bit like this chicken. It's, it's produced at great scale. But it's still not bad. The wheat beer for me, whole garden wheat beer, is a 7 out of 10. The chicken, yeah, it's chicken thigh. It's not chicken breast, so you will get brown bits in it. Trust me for not reading the packaging. Mind you, there's so much to read in there. Look at all of that. Uh, the chicken for me, yeah, that's an 8 out of 10. Really nice. 8 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.